Hello, this is Hegan on BBC Radio 2 and today I am with two viewers who have watched the penguin race. As you can see, we are by some of the penguins and we are in the North Pole. Oshan, what would you give the... What would you rate the um, performance out of ten? Well, I would rate it a seven and a half because sometimes you couldn't really see them uh, under the water. So I get the re but the rest was great. So I that's why I give it seven and a half. Well, thank you, Oshan, for answering my question. Thank you. Now I am going to ask Grace a question. Grace, why did you want Stephen to win? I wanted Stephen to win because he's the fastest and he's like our family member. Why is he like your family member? Because he's friendly, he does everything for us and we just want to be his friend. Okay, thank you. Next we will have Stephen the Penguin who was the winner. Hello Stephen, did you like the race that you participated in? Uh, yes, I very much did, cause, because I came, first I came fir first, and then secondly, it was lots and lots of fun to take part in. Okay, do you mind if I ask you some questions here from my clipboard from the public? Uh, no, I don't mind, it's okay. Okay, so how do you manage in such extreme temperatures? Well, as you can see, I have some oil on my uh, feathers so I can, it keeps the water from getting to my skin and I have a thick layer of blubber onto my skin which will also keep me warm. Wow, who knew that? Not me. Oh, it's cold. How do you, how do you swim so smoothly? Well, as I said before, the oil on my skin creates less friction if I, was, if I went without the oil. Well, that was interesting. How do you feel after the race? I feel very happy because, because I have came first and I never thought that I could. Well, how long have you trained for this? Well, I've trained since I was very little. When I first saw the race, I always wanted to take part. But I'm only 17, so I haven't been training for too long. So is that how you got into racing, by watching it on the TV? Well, yes, because uh, my family is very passionate about, uh, passionate about the uh, racing. Well, how does your family feel about you becoming first? Well, I haven't really told them yet, but they have probably watched it on, on the TV because... As I said, they are very passionate, but I will be going after this straight to them. Well, we won't keep you for very long then, so you can go and call your family and tell them that you came first. So I have a, a very interesting question from a viewer, and it's, where did you think you would place? Well, I thought that I would come somewhere close to second or third because I haven't really taken part in this before so I don't think I'd be straight away the winner but I've proven to myself that I can achieve everything that I want to. Well how did you feel when you saw the finish line in your sight? I, I couldn't believe my eyes because I have never come first in any race before so it was certainly a privilege. Why did you come here to participate in the race? Well, my dad, he never came first. He only ever became second, so I came to beat my dad's record. So, now, and now I have. So, all of your, do all of your family members participate in this race? Well, my grandfather and his dad always used to do it, but they never came first, so... Well, the last question is, have you ever participated in any race like this or any race at all? Well, I did come, I did go into the short distance um, swimming race, but I never came first. I only came seventh, which isn't too bad considering there was only 15 of us. But I, I always try, want to come first and try my best. 
Well, that's a very positive thing to say, Stephen. Thank you for your time. We will see you next week on BBC Radio 2. Congratulations on going through in the finals. My name's Logan and, and I'm here today with Donald and Daisy. How, how did you save her so fast? Because there is oil on me and I have flippers so I can swim very fast. How do you, how do you feel after saving a child? I feel like a superhero and I am so pleased that she survived. Why are you in New Zealand and how did you get here? I have escaped from Folly Farm. It was horrible there. Why did you save the child? I saved the child because there is a lot of people who would have just left it, but I'm not one of those people. How, how on earth did you spot her? I heard her screaming for help. Why do you have oil on you, on you? I'm not sure. I think it's just a fact of being a penguin. Where is your home? My real home is in the northeast of Antarctica. Will you go back to your home? Hopefully to see all of my family. How, how do, do you have much family in Antarctica? Yes. How, do, how did you feel when you saw the penguin swimming towards you, Daisy? I felt scared and I thought, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I felt scared and I thought as he's going to eat me. Daisy, are you glad the penguin saved you? Yes. Back to D David, what actually happened? I saw her drowning and I saved her. It was shocking to see that no one helped her, so I did. Thanks for the interview. Bye. We're interviewing a heroic penguin, Snowball, who saved a baby sea lion's life. How did you save the baby sea, sea lion so quickly? I have oil all over my fur, so when I swim, it makes me glide through the water. Why did you save such a predator? Because I would have felt guilty if I hadn't. Where was he when you saved him? He was drowning, trying to save his life. Does anyone live around you? Eskimos, Bethan and James. How long have you lived with the baby? I've lived, tri I've lived with it for around six months. Do you feel as if you were a hero? Not necessarily. No one has bumped into me at all. Where were you when you spotted the baby? I was eating my favourite meal. What's your favourite meal? Fish. Where is your family during this event? I got lost and I haven't found them. Do you think they'll ever see them again? Never. Thanks for listening to our video. Hello and welcome to the Daily Penguin. Today we are going to be interviewing the first penguin to ever fly. Hello Bubbles. We'd like to ask you a few questions if that's okay. Yes that is. The first question that we wanted to ask you is why did you shave off your fur? Well, I thought, uh, I thought all the oil in my fur would weigh me down if I fly, so that's why I shaved it off. The second question we would like to ask you is, why did you want it to fly? Well, it's quite embarrassing when your species is cast as a bird when you can't fly. The third question we wanted to ask you was, is, how did you get to Hawaii? Well, I found this surfboard and, and I got this map, so I decided to follow the map on the, uh, on the surfboard. So that's how I got to Hawaii. Interesting. How did you get hold of a shaver? Well, it was at this exhibitioners camp and I, I waddled into it and in the corner of my eye I saw a shiny head. So I, I, so I looked to my right and then I saw a shaver. That's how I got it. How 
how did you? How hard was it to shave off your face? It was surprisingly easy. With but you would have thought it was quite hard because with all the oil in your fur, it might have got quite dense, but it didn't. How did you get to Hawaii? You've said that. Why did you want to go on holiday to Hawaii? Well, I, I wanted to go to Hawaii because people think that penguins need to live in cold climates, but they don't. What is your famous bird name? Well, it's my actual name, Trevor. What other nicknames do you have? Well, my only nickname is the Flying Duck, because uh, I, I fly like a duck, really. Interesting. Where do you actually come from? Well, I come from China, but my parents are Japanese. Interesting. What other talents do you have? Well, um, I was the best at swimming in my community, but because I shaved off my foot, now I'm terrible. And the last question that we really wanted to ask you was, how do you feel being the first penguin to fly? Well, it's amazing. I made my species proud, and I landed myself a place in the Guinness Book of Records. Thank you for watching The Daily Penguin. And hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. I know you. That, I know that you came from Antarctica. Can you tell us how you came here? I was f swimming with my family, and then a huge wave, a, a huge wave swept us, and then a boat came by and caught us in its fishing net, and it took us to. Zoo. Was it easy for you to get to Chesington Zoo and why? It wasn't easy at all to get to Chesington Zoo because of the feeling of um, being swept away by the waves and being on the boat, not knowing where we're going and yeah, not very good experience. Was it easy to fit in? <laughs> It wasn't easy to fit in for a couple of hours. But then as those hours went by, um, we started making some more, more friends with all the penguins. How do you feel leaving the zoo? To be truly honest with you, I'm very sad of leaving the zoo from all the people saving our lives and to be making friends. But I am sort of happy to be um, leaving because I can go see my family again if they're still there. How are you getting home? I'm not really quite sure of that yet. Why do you have oil on your body? To be honest with you, I'm not sure why we have oil on our body, but I know um, what we do with the oil. Um, it makes us swim faster in the sea. What was the feeling of the current sweeping you away? When the current swooping us away, it felt really, really scary because we didn't know what to do or what would happen to us. What was the feeling of being captured by the fishing net and not being able to escape? Really scary because it had <coughs> closed us in and we didn't know where we were going on the boat. So it was really scary for us too. And today I am joined by two very famous people. We have the newest penguin of America, Paddy, and as we all know, Abby Lee Miller from the hit TV series Dance Moms. Now Paddy, we all know you have a very good story of your home. Would you mind telling us what it is? Okay, so I live in the Antarctica and one day I was swimming with all of my friends and then they started swimming very fast and I could not keep up with them. So I decided to swim back to shore, and then all of a sudden, I started dancing. And then all of a sudden, I heard a crash. That would be me. I was flying from America to Australia on my annual holiday, 
and I went to go and find um, help because the stupid pilot crash landed. And then I found this dancing penguin. Now, Paddy, how come you were swimming slower than the other penguins? Well, I think it is that we all of us penguins have oil on our fur, but I feel that I have less oil, so I swam much slower. Also, my flippers are very small. Now, Abby, how did you feel when you came across this dancing penguin? Well, I thought, wow, he's a dancing penguin. And I thought it would be a good replacement for Maddie, as my favourite is gone. So sad. I know. How did it feel when your first ever dancer won an Oscar? Well, I was obviously expecting it because, you know, it was taught by the best. But, um, yeah, I was very happy and I think she, Paddy really deserved it. Do you feel that Paddy is better than Maddie? Well, Maddie's more of a lyrical dancer and Paddy's an all-rounder. Um, I think Paddy is a good replacement, but I don't think he'll ever replace Maddie. Have you ever considered going back to Antarctica? Well, I have started my journey here and I feel that's a very good journey. But no, I haven't thought about going back to Antarctica yet. And how were your emotions when you won the Oscar? I was very happy because I thought I won over, the, over these humans who have had proper lessons and I've just started dancing to myself. I believe you are the first ever penguin to win an Oscar. Yes. Now, unfortunately, we only have time for one question. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Have you enjoyed your experience? Yes. Yes, we have enjoyed our experience. And thank you very much to, for the Oscars for having us. Thank you for all, everyone who voted. Yeah, that's all I need to say. And that's all we have time for today. Thank you, Abby and Paddy. Back to you, Rob, at the studio.